Some law lecturers at the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration say the continual stay of former President John Mahama in the cantonment residence is in violation of the Presidential Transition Act. The law lecturers condemn the continual stay as the debate rages on. The Presidential Transition Act Section 10 Clause 1 states the incumbent president and the incumbent vice president shall each vacate the official residences before the day of the swearing-in of the person elected as president and if either of them so desires, move into an alternative official residence. As it stands now, the immediate past president, President John Dramani Mahama, is still occupying the vice presidential residence as cantonment where he has lived for the past eight years. This, according to lawyers, is in clear violation of the Transition Act. According to a constitutional law lecturer at Gimpa, John Darkon, the laws of the land must be enforced in line with the rule of law. If we have um, uh, an outgoing president who decides not to uh, leave his official uh, residence in clear violation uh, of the law, then for me, I think it's, it's problematic. And we don't want that as a country. We expect the rule of law uh, to uh, prevail. And what that means is that we are all equal before the law. He said though the former president is entitled to a house, he cannot continue occupying the house until he's allocated a new one, adding he should be law-abiding. John Darkon urged Ghanaians to insist President Ekufo Adu to occupy the Flagstaff house. We spent a lot of money uh, putting up that structure, that um, uh, Jubilee House or Flagstaff House, as it may be called. And there is an official residence uh, for the president. Why did the former president not move in there? Nobody understands, you know. And so we should insist the current administration, and now Kufuado, the president, must move into his official residence because that is how it is supposed to be. Another law lecturer at Gimpa, Edmond Amakwe Foley, also shares the same views and insists the law is not ambiguous and cannot be misinterpreted. If you look at the general tenor of that act, right from about section 6 downwards, the matters concerned with handing over and vacation and giving over of property is still very much vested in the hands of the state. It's still a state-driven process in the hands of the administrator general. In fact, the law requires that a presidential estate unit be set up to take inventory and all of that. So with the greatest respect, the continued occupation of those premises is in violation of Section 10 of the Act. Parliament last minute amended the approved retirement package for former President John Mahama to include the provision of a fully furnished residence. Per the initial emoluments of the president proposed by the Professor Dora Francisca Edubwanda's committee and approved by Parliament, President Mahama was to retire on a salary of 22,809 cities and a monthly 40% of his salary as accommodation allowance.